Hello, everyone, and welcome to Level Up Law uh, that we bring you every Tuesday at noon from South Carolina Legal Services. I'm Susan Ingalls, a Consumer Law Unit Head here at South Carolina Legal Services, and I will be sharing today uh, with you our resources that Legal Services has to provide to the general public uh, regarding consumer law. And one of the reasons we're doing this uh, today and this week is because it's National Consumer Protection Week. And so in addition to the normal resources that I would usually um, be sharing with you, we have a lot of special events and projects that we are engaging in for the week. And so we'll be sharing a little bit about that with you as well. So, um, uh, remember that we'll be putting this presentation up on YouTube, so if there's any information that you want to be sure that you have about connecting with our resources, that will definitely be up on our YouTube channel um, in short order uh, this week. Uh, of course, I'm here with uh, Kenneth Elliott from our IT department who produces the show for us, and we appreciate everything that he does. And so let's go ahead and get started and have a little walkthrough of our consumer resources at South Carolina Legal Services that you can access just for information or if you need help in representing yourself. So the various resources that I wanted to be sure and share with you today are these main resources that you see on the screen. And there are varying types of resources. They might be videos, they might be brochures, you know, just all kinds of things that you can use, including the online classrooms that we have. So these are just the major ones that I'll be showing you today. Uh, but we do have other resources at these locations on our websites. So definitely be sure and check those out. So let's start out with our videos on YouTube. And that's going to be right over here. So this is our YouTube channel. And as you can see, we have quite a number of videos on YouTube. In fact, we have well over 200 videos. Now, they're not all on consumer law, and that's something I think it's important for everybody to know. Even though today I'm focused on our consumer protection law resources, we have um, videos and other resources on all the law areas that we practice in. If you click here on playlists on our YouTube channel, you'll see that the videos are categorized and they might be on elder law. Here we've got you know, the ones that we're already posting for Consumer Protection Week this year. Um, and in addition, we have immigration, housing, family, you can see all of those. Now here you can see that um, we had Consumer Protection Week last year and we did uh, quite a number of videos for that. We're doing replays of those this year and adding new resources as well. We're constantly adding new resources. If you tune in with us on Level Up Law every Tuesday, you will see those resources um, that we are presenting each week on Tuesday show up on our YouTube channel uh, later on. But also all of those um, subject matters, we usually will have other resources on. We might have brochures or checklists or how to's. Uh, and that sort of thing. So that's why I want to share with you today all the various resources that we have. Um, also, I'd like to highlight down here <clears throat> on the right hand corner of our playlist, our disaster assistance video series. Because in South Carolina, we do tend to have some natural disasters, particularly hurricanes. Um, we did an entire uh, series of disaster videos with our Friendly Clark character, <coughs> and several of those have to do with uh, consumer law. So let's go to that playlist and we can play. Oops. They're pretty short. I think this is a 
a really good one on how to create a fair contract with a contractor because we find there's a lot of fraud when it comes to contractors. So let's have a look at that. I got muted, don't I? Targets important. for fraud. Scam artists often head to disaster areas to prey on people who are vulnerable. Posing as building contractors, debris removers, and other fraudulent businesses, they will try to take your money. For this reason, it's critical to be informed and careful when hiring a contractor after a disaster. Remember, contracts are binding. A lawyer can help to make sure that the contract terms are fair and reasonable. Here's what a healthy relationship with a contractor looks like. Your contract is with a business that you know or that you have researched ahead of time and have positive references on. It is not with someone who knocked on your door. Your contract is set up with payments based on milestones of completed work. You got estimates from three different contractors before you Okay, so hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea uh, about what those videos look like and what our little friend Clark looks like when uh, when he's involved. Hopefully y'all can hear the um, sound on that video. All right, now I'm going to go back to the YouTube channel. And let's just take a look at some of the other videos that we have today in this week about uh, consumer protection. A conservator is a person appointed by the court to manage the assets of a protected person. So we have that one, conservatorships. You know, this week, our Consumer Protection Week has a focus with an eye on aging. And so a lot of what we're um, bringing to you for Consumer Protection Week has to do with the um, consumer issues that are faced by our seniors. So definitely keep an eye on that. If you go to our Facebook page, you can find links to everything that we're doing this week. So that's a little bit about our YouTube channel and some of the resources that you will find there. So let's go on to some of the other resources that we have. Um, the next one that we uh, wanted to talk about was our online classrooms. This website is called Learn the Law, and it's a nationwide website. We have, as you can see here, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, classrooms on there. And we're about to add six more um, in the coming months. So you can see what some of the subject matter is. Let's just go to that website and should be here. There we go. There's learnthelaw.org. So if you go to, for example, the first one, which is Debt Collection Defense in South Carolina Summary Court. Um, this tells you about how to handle a claim and delivery case. It also has a video with Clark. And the neat thing about these is they're just usually three or four minutes long. And they give you a nice overview of the law that applies and what you might uh, be needing to do. And Clark helps with that. But we have frequently asked questions. We have a guided interview that helps you go through the process of filing an answer to a debt collection complaint. Um, we have a nice PowerPoint that goes in great detail about the law when it comes to claim and delivery in magistrate court. And that can help not only you, the general public, but also can help uh, lawyers that might be uh, assisting you with your case. Uh, we also even have in this classroom, uh, 
you see right here, videos about what it's like to go to court with a claim and delivery case. So you'll see here, this bottom video actually is a claim and delivery case in magistrate court. Um, so it's a great way to prepare yourself if you're having to represent yourself. It's a great way to um, prepare yourself and kind of know what's going to happen when you get there. And the classroom tells you what you need to do to be prepared for that. So learntolaw.org is just a great, uh, great resource, I think, for the public. And we're always happy to have members of the public who might be interested to work with us in developing those classrooms, um, the subject matter of the classrooms, or what information you might need on a particular subject. And would love for anyone who wants to volunteer to review those for us and give us some thoughts on um, whether or not they're helpful. That's always great feedback for us as we continue to build more classrooms online. Okay, lawhelp.org. This is where we have all of our resources, whether it be PowerPoints, checklists, guided interviews, all the things that you might need or be um, looking for when you have a particular type of legal matter. So let's have a look at that. So this is our lawhelp.org page, and let's go to the main page uh, first. Okay, oh, one more click. Okay, so this is lawhelp.org. And as you can see, we have some special things, for example, right now about COVID-19. We have our disaster assistance videos are highlighted here, the ones that I just showed you on YouTube. Then you can see over here to the right, we have announcements and then special forms, including um, domestic violence uh, forms, uh, issues that you might be having for tax season, some forms for that. And even down here, a direct link to those online classrooms that I was just showing you. Now, the other thing about Law Help is it has all of the areas of law that we practice in. You know, each week when we come to you on Law Help, um, on Level Up Law, um, we talk about the different areas of law that we practice in. And each time we're talking about a different area of law. If you go to lawhelp.org slash SC, you'll see all the different uh, areas that we practice in. And I'm just going to go scroll down that just a little bit uh, for that first page. Now here's consumer and that's what we're focusing on today. So let's just click on consumer and see what we see. Okay, so you can see here all the types of consumer cases that you might run into. Now this is not a complete list, but it's a pretty good list of the type of cases that we might handle. So let's look at cars and vehicle issues. So you can see kind of a little bit about what we might have on there. So as you can see, we have not only our own resources, which there are plenty of. In fact, I think we did a two-part series on Level Up Law about car repossessions back in uh, December and January. Um, and those, I think, are very useful. But here you have some other written type documents. And we share from other resources that also um, cover consumer law. So you can see here the South Carolina Bar Association has uh, dealing with automobile dealerships uh, page for you. The Federal Trade Commission, which is a great resource for us and for you, um, has a buyer's guide for used cars. The National Association of Consumer Advocates, that's called NACA for short, and we have a membership there and are very involved with that organization. They have this how to avoid fraud. Here's the, the South Carolina Department of Consumer Affairs on lemon law. You've got South Carolina Appleseed Legal Justice Center um, has a PDF here. I think that's a brochure. So there's quite uh, an excellent amount of resources that you can find here on Law Help. So I definitely encourage you to go there and find those resources and also see what we might not have that you feel uh, is needed and you can um, definitely give us some feedback on that because we're always updating our resources, adding resources, 
and even editing the resources that we have. Let's look at debt collection because we mentioned NACA and I think that we have here, if I'm not mistaken, um, I might be wrong, it might be in the online classroom. Um, NACA has a collection of debt collection defense videos that South Carolina Legal Services participated in uh, creating. <clears throat> and so you can find that actually in the um, Learn the Law classroom on uh, debt collection. So be sure to look for that there. Okay, that's a little uh, brief look at law help. Again, I encourage you to go and look at that uh, website where all those resources are. Okay, um, well, we're on a Level Up Law episode right now, but let's just take a quick look back at YouTube where you will see that Level Up Law playlist. Here it is. See right there, you can view the full playlist. You can see that since we've been doing this since June, um, we have uh, 34 episodes, and that is a lot. And here's an example of one that we did on Level Up Law. Our attorney, Cheryl Wright, you can see, um, let's see if I can find the title page of that. She did a two-part series on solar scams, solar panels and so forth. The first one talked about solar panels and just the general, uh, sort of a general summary of how that industry works. And you can see that on part two, she started with a brief review of that uh, presentation. And then she talked about, in particular, solar power scams. And that's a great episode. I encourage everybody to go have a look. So uh, on YouTube, we have just a playlist. So if you are a fan of Level Up Law and you have an episode that you want to go back and look at, or maybe if you're just now becoming a fan of, of our resources and the Level Up Law in particular, you can go there now to our YouTube channel, click on playlists, and just go right down here to the Level Up Law playlist and find one that is going to be helpful to you uh, in the moment uh, that you have right now or in the future. All right. Now, that's Level Up Law. And that's been a fun uh, and I think very informative resource for us to get started with to really build up that YouTube channel. Because I don't know about y'all, but I really like, I'm a visual person, so I really like to see the videos a lot more than I like reading all that text uh, on some of the things that we have. So let's look at text, speaking of that. We have quite a wide range of brochures. Um, and I'm going to take you to our uh, website to show you how to download those or to order brochures. If you're with an organization and there's a particular brochure that we have that you would like to distribute, you can go right to that page and order them. And I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Um, they're all free. You don't have to pay for them. Um, we're happy to send as many as you need. You can see here the one that I'm showing you is being judgment proof. This is a brochure that we highlighted yesterday for National Consumer Protection Week. It's uh, an area of the law that um, is quite often little known to people, especially people who are being sued for consumer debt, um, because we do have exemptions in South Carolina, so that if you have a judgment against you on a consumer debt, um, although the judgment creditor has the right to collect that judgment or try to collect it, there's not an equal obligation on your part to pay it unless you have the wherewithal to pay it, if you have property that you can sell to pay it and that sort of thing. But in South Carolina, we have exemptions for that. And so most of our clients here at Legal Services are exempt uh, from their property being sold by the court to pay a judgment. So it's real important we think that people know that. Another thing that's important 
is um, to know that there is no wage garnishment in South Carolina on consumer debt. There's a couple of very limited exceptions that we don't have time to go into here, but for the most part on consumer debt, um, our uh, law prohibits wage garnishment. So it's important to, uh, to know that. Well, let's go to our website and look at uh, a brochure. Here's the brochure on debt collection and claim and delivery. And what you'll notice is that it doesn't look like a brochure when you're looking on our website. The reason for that is we want to make it accessible um, for people who have uh, visual issues. But you can right over here, download that PDF, and there's that brochure. So let's look at how to order brochures on the website. Let's just start. Here's our home page. It's www.sclegal.org. And if you look here, click on resources, you just hover above resources, come down here to brochures. Now these self-help forms you see here, that'll take you right back to that lawhelp.org webpage. Let's look at the brochure page. Here is a list of all the brochures that we have, okay? A bunch of them. So what you can do is, here's one on car repossession. So you can click on that, there's a PDF. You can download that to your computer if you want to. Again, these are all free. If you want to um, order a brochure, there is a brochure order form and you can request that here. Just click on here and all you've got to do is put in your uh, information, your contact information, and uh, you can ask for the brochures that you think would be most helpful to you or your organization. You know, you can order just one or you can order a hundred if you need that many. So that's a great resource that we have. We're constantly updating those every year to make sure that the, um, the law that's contained in there is correct. And you'll even see that some of our brochures, um, we have a Spanish version of, and we're working real hard to make all of those available um, in other languages. Our income tax here is also in Spanish. So, um, so those are a great resource. Um, one other thing I'll mention while I'm here on our website is that you can apply online for our assistance. So anytime you go here, uh, if you can't uh, get through on this telephone number, which is often quite busy, or if it's after hours, you know, our intake office is only open Monday through Thursday from nine to six, which is a lot of time, but we do get a lot of calls. And so this is a really neat feature being able to apply online. You can do that 24 um, seven. Maybe that they need to call you back for some information that um, wasn't included when you applied, but, um, but that's a great way to do it just at your own convenience. All right, so that's brochures. Now, we'll see what we have next. Um, and now we're getting to uh, some of the live events that we are doing now. You know, we started Level Up Law back when the pandemic happened and we needed to be getting our information out the best we uh, could. And that's worked really well and we'll continue to do that. But we're also having virtual clinics. Um, this week for Consumer Protection Week, um, we're doing two virtual clinics on debt defending a debt collection case. So definitely if you want to uh, join in, we've got one more, which is tomorrow at four o'clock on Wednesday, uh, which would be March 3rd at four o'clock. Uh, you can uh, follow us on our social media. All of that can be accessed on that website that I was just showing you, sclegal.org. Uh, you can go to our Facebook page and on our Facebook page, all the events for this week are linked and, uh, and shown there. Also, um, this afternoon and Thursday afternoon at four o'clock, we're having a live Q&A on Instagram. So let's take a look at that. There we go. So just, uh, it's an opportunity to ask questions about consumer law cases. And while we've been talking about this, you might be wondering, well, what is a consumer law case? 
Um, the kinds of consumer law cases that we handle have to do both with consumer finance issues and also consumer protection. So we help people with debt collection. Um, we help people with bankruptcy. Um, quite often in foreclosure cases, there's a consumer law component. Um, banking, um, car purchases and car contract and repossession type issues and just any number of things that have to do with contracting like um, warranties, not just on cars, but on things like appliances and that sort of thing. Um, student loans, we do a lot of. So it runs quite the gamut of um, financing and purchasing, but also the reporting of your credit on those issues. So credit reporting is something that we run into quite a bit. Um, and all of the federal and state consumer protection laws um, we help people with, whether it be robocalls and people bothering you on the phone, um, collection, and any other number of things that might be uh, something that you face on a daily basis when it comes to uh, consumer finance. Um, one thing that we're highlighting this week when it comes to consumer law is scams. Um, because we do see a lot of scams, and especially um, uh, for elderly folks. And that's one of the reasons that this week we are doing Consumer Protection Week with that eye on aging and trying to really emphasize some of the issues that our older Americans face. Um, the conservatorship uh, video that we posted on Monday, I guess, and then today we're posting a video on uh, medical debt associated with nursing homes. And that's a really, uh, both of those are, I think, really important. So check, uh, check it out, the live Q&A today on our Instagram account. You can access that. If you're not already following us, you can access that from sclegal.org. But be sure while you're there to click follow so you can see all the other things. Um, that we post on Instagram to help out uh, the public. Here's just a little view of all the different things that we're doing this week for uh, Consumer Protection Week. You can see that in addition to the resources that I've already been showing you, we're posting new resources on all those uh, locations. So we're putting tip sheets on our Law Help website. We're putting, you know, posting blogs on sclegal.org. You can find a lot of blogs there on any number of areas of the law on an ongoing basis. But this week we're posting a blog every day um, on a different consumer law topic. You can also see here at the bottom of this graphic uh, the live events that we're doing. This is another thing that we're doing this week for National Consumer Protection Week, and that's our placemat project. So any of you who uh, work with seniors or especially work with um, providing meals for seniors, um, if you have an organization that's providing uh, those senior meals or you're doing meals on wheels or something like that, um, definitely contact us. A lot of our um, area councils on aging um, in the different regions are participating in this project. Um, it's a great way to teach seniors about the frauds and the scams and the schemes that are being perpetrated on them um, and really on the rest of us as well. Um, we quite often unwittingly um, fall victim to a scam very unsuspectingly and you know that can happen to all of us but it's uh, particularly a problem for our seniors all right let's see i think that is about all the graphics that we had so let's just go back to the powerpoint and i just want to um, close by mentioning again that not only do we have quite a number of um, resources or our special resources for this week, um, we have quite a number of resources not just in the area of consumer law but in all the other areas that we practice in. So I definitely encourage all of you to check those out 
there's so much information there on any number of areas of law that we practice in. And now on the screen is uh, that information, all of those websites, all of our social media accounts where you can go and find information and watch for new alerts about information or about events. You know, on our Facebook page, we're always um, showing events. Another thing on sclegal.org, we do have a calendar there and I um, meant to show you that, but it's very easy to go back to that sclegal.org page and right at the top where we uh, clicked on resources or hovered on resources, right to the right of that is calendar and you can click on that calendar and see what events are coming up, whether it be a, um, a webinar like this or a Zoom clinic or um, some other kind of event that might be an in-person event or a Zoom clinic. We do quite a number of divorce clinics. And uh, again, as I said, we're doing the debt collection uh, defense clinics this week. The nice thing about doing those virtually right now, and of course we'll continue to do those, but hopefully real soon we'll get back to doing more of the in-person. Um, but when we do them virtually, they can be um, seen all over the state. So no matter where you are, you can participate in those clinics. And so that's been one of the few positives I think about the pandemic is that we have done um, have done more of that. So that's all I have for today uh, on sharing our consumer and other resources with you that we have here at South Carolina Legal Services. Again, we're celebrating National Consumer Protection Week with an eye on aging. So I do encourage that you go to our Facebook page and check out all the information that we're posting on a regular basis and sign up for those live events. Um, again, this afternoon at four o'clock, Instagram Live uh, Consumer Law uh, Q&A. So let me just, as we always do, uh, remind you that we do Level Up Law every Tuesday at noon. Uh, we have uh, different areas of law that we practice in, and that's what we'll be um, doing every Tuesday at noon. It's a different topic every time. If you don't subscribe to our newsletter, um, you should just, you should be able to go to our, um, our website to subscribe to that newsletter. And when we send out our monthly newsletter, it will have the schedule of Love What Law uh, in there. And also you can find them on that calendar on our, um, on our website. Now, next week on Love What Law will be a really interesting one, I think, um, you know, uh, common law marriage has been abolished in South Carolina. And our managing attorney from our Greenwood office, Leslie Fisk, who's very involved in um, family court issues, she'll be talking about how that affects us now and how it might affect you if you or someone you know um, has been involved in a common law marriage. So definitely uh, be sure to register and tune in for that next week. And uh, as always, remember that our intake office staff, as I mentioned earlier, is standing by to take your call Monday through Thursday, nine to six. And you can also apply online and check out all of these resources that I've mentioned today. And if you have a special type of clinic or outreach that you would like to have in your area that you'd like to sponsor. Um, we're always happy to do that. Definitely, you can contact me and ask for that. Uh, again, Susan Ingalls, Consumer Law Unit Head at South Carolina Legal Services. We're always help, happy to help with events. If you set it up, we'll be there. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. <music>